We are working in Lesson 317, and this is going to be a dictation exercise with real words. The words will all represent vowel groups 1 through 5. We learn to apply these vowel groups so that we can analyze what sound the vowel is going to make in a particular word. Vowel group 1 is you have a single vowel in a word followed by a consonant. The vowel is short. Vowel group 2, you have a single vowel in the word, but it is the last letter in the word. comes at the end of the word, in other words, and it's going to represent the long sound. Vowel group 3 is the silent E rule. The E at the end of the word is silent. The first vowel in the word says its name. Vowel group 4 is when two vowels join together, form a team, and the first vowel says its name. And finally, vowel group 5. A vowel plus the letter R join together and form a team and represent a special sound. We have nine rows of words, and I want you to spell these words and also to mark these words correctly. Again, the marking system is a very powerful tool for you to learn to analyze words in terms of the phonetic components within those words. Why is that important? because it enables you to sound out words you don't immediately recognize, and it also gives you a way to remember how words are spelled because you can apply the logic of the phonics of the individual elements in the word to remember how those words are constructed. So we're going to begin with the first word. The first word is sweep, sweep, sweep the floor, sweep. This has four sounds, s, w, e, p, sweep. Now this is how the word is spelled. Now mark the word, sweep. Close, close, that was a close call, close, four sounds, k, l, o, s, Close. Mark the word. Close. Now, what would happen if the S represents its second sound? How would you pronounce that word? Close. So, that's a totally different word. This word, where S is representing its first sound, the word is close, like a close call. But when S represents its second sound, as in the way it's marked here, the word would be pronounced close, and it's a completely different meaning to the word close, close the door. The next word is clench. Clench, don't clench your teeth. Clench, five sounds. K, O, E, N, CH. Clench, mark the word. Clench. Grasp, grasp, I am beginning to grasp your idea, grasp, five sounds, g, r, a, s, p, grasp, mark the word, grasp, shark, shark, the shark is a scary animal, shark, Three sounds, sh, r, k, shark. Mark the word, shark. Row two, tube, tube. I need to buy a new tube to go float in. Tube, three sounds, t, u, b, tube. Mark the word. Tube. We double underline U in this word because U is representing its second long sound. Remember that U is the only vowel that has not one long sound but two long sounds. The first long sound for U is U, as in the word mule. The second long sound for U is U, as in this word tube. And the sentence I suggest you use to remember the difference in the pronunciation is... The dude rode on the mule. And dude is representing, the U and dude is representing the second long sound for you, and the U and mule 
is representing the first long sound for mule. So when U represents its second long sound, U, double underline the U. The next word is stripe. Stripe. He painted a stripe down the middle of the road. Stripe. Five sounds. S, T, R, I, P. Stripe. Mark the word. Stripe. Earl. Earl. An earl is a mark of royalty in some countries. Earl. And this word has two sounds. Er. Ol. Earl. Mark the word. Earl. Sprain. Sprain. She did sprain her ankle. Sprain. Five sounds. S. R, A, N, sprain, mark the word, sprain, stench, stench, there is a real gross stench in the air, stench, five sounds, s, t, e, n, ch, stench, mark the word, Stench. Row three. Graph. Graph. He created a graph to show the budget. Graph. Four sounds. G, R, A, F. Graph. Mark the word. Graph. Search. Search. We all went on a search together. Search. Three sounds. S. Er, ch. Search. Mark the word. Search. Creek. Creek. There is a creek in the stairs. Creek. Four sounds. K. R. E. K. Creek. Mark the word. Creek. Now, there's another way to spell that word which would be C-R-E-E-K, and that would mean the stream that flows in the woods. So according to the way this word is spelled, it has a different meaning because creek with an E-A is a sound. The next word is swept, swept. He swept the floor last night, swept. Five sounds, s-w-e-p. Swept. Mark the word. Swept. Pose. Pose. The model learned to pose for the camera. Pose. Three sounds. P. O. Z. Pose. Mark the word. Pose. Row four. Crust. Crust. Some people cut the crust on bread when they eat a sandwich. Crust. Five sounds. K. R. U. S. T. Crust. Mark the word. Crust. Strain. Strain. Your request puts a real strain on the system. Strain. Five sounds. S, T, R, A, N. Strain. Mark the word. Strain. Phrase. Phrase. That is a very poetic phrase. Phrase. Five sounds. F, R, A, Z. Phrase. Mark the word. Phrase. Starch. Starch. Please do not put starch on my shirt when you iron it. Starch. Four sounds. S. T. R. Ch. Starch. Mark the word. Starch. Vote. Vote. Everyone needs to vote. Vote. Three sounds. V. 
O T vote. Mark the word vote. Row five. Thrive. Thrive. May everyone thrive here. Thrive. Four sounds. Th R I V. Thrive. Mark the word. Thrive. Throb. Throb. The loud music did throb throughout the night. Throb. Four sounds. Th R A B. Throb. Mark the word. Throb. Chuck. Chuck. Chuck another piece of wood into the fire, please. Chuck. Three sounds. Ch. A. Uh, k. Chuck. Mark the word. Chuck. Crow. Crow. I heard a crow through the forest. Crow. Three sounds. K. R. O. Oh. Crow. Mark the word. Crow. Churn. Churn. She had to go churn the butter. Churn. Three sounds. Ch. Er. N. Churn. Mark the word. Churn. Row six. Botch. Botch. Please don't botch this work. Botch. Three sounds. B. A. Ch. Botch. Mark the word. Botch. We use TCH in this word because we have a short vowel directly in front of it. That's the only time you can use TCH in the spelling of a word. The next word is rule. Rule. What is the rule regarding that? Rule. Three sounds. R. U. O. Rule. Mark the word. Rule. Here you is representing its second long sound, U. When you represent its second long sound, we double underline it. Yearn. Yearn. She will yearn all day for her mother. Yearn. Three sounds. Y. Er. N. Yearn. Mark the word. Yearn. Creep. Creep. The thief tried to creep up so no one knew he was there. Creep. Four sounds. K. R. E. P. Creep. Mark the word. Creep. Length. Length. We need to measure the length of this board. Length. Four sounds. O, E, N, Th. Length. Mark the word. Length. NG is another one of these consonant teams that you must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use NG when you're spelling words. Row seven. Throw. Throw. Throw me the ball. Throw. Three sounds. Th. R. O. Throw. Mark the word. Throw. Lurch. Lurch. The train began to lurch and go forward. Lurch. Three sounds. L. R. Ch. Lurch. Mark the word. Lurch. Cruise. Cruise. We went on a cruise last summer. Cruise. Four sounds. K. R. U. Z. Cruise. Mark the word. Cruise. U. I, as a team, always represents the second long sound of U. So we always, when we encounter U. I in a word, double underline it. It represents the sound U. 
And of course, S in this word is also representing its second sound. We double underline the S and we have a silent E at the end of the word. Normally when we have a silent E, it's going to be vowel group three, but not in this word because we have a vowel group four team in the middle of the word. But nevertheless, we underline E to indicate it's silent at the end of the word. Ale. Ale. I am going to drink some ale cider. Ale. And this has two sounds. A. O. Ale. Mark the word. Ale. Which. Which. Which way did they go? Which. Three sounds. W. I. Ch. Which. Mark the word which. Now there's another word which which would be spelled w-i-t-c-h and that which is like the bad witch of the east. So that's a totally different meaning for the word. However this illustrates the fact that in English we have words that can be pronounced the same way but they're spelled differently and have different meanings. We call those homophones and uh, this is an instance of that. Row eight, flock, flock. The flock of ducks stayed together. Flock, four sounds. F, o, a, k, flock. Mark the word, flock. Bray, bray. The donkey began to bray. Bray, three sounds, b, r, a, bray, mark the word, bray, scope, scope, what is the scope of the argument you plan to make today, scope, four sounds, s, k, o, Scope. Mark the word. Scope. Crutch. Crutch. She hurt her knee and needed a crutch. Crutch. Four sounds. K. R. A. Ch. Crutch. Mark the word. Crutch. Perch. Perch. Sometimes I grill perch on the grill outside. Perch. Three sounds. P. Er. Ch. Perch. Mark the word. Perch. Our final row nine. Cleat. Cleat. He had to replace a cleat on his shoe. Cleat. Four sounds. K. O. E. T. Cleat. Mark the word. Cleat. Prime. Prime. The prime reason I decided to quit was because of what happened yesterday. Prime. Four sounds. P. R. I. M. Prime. Mark the word. Prime. Chirp. Chirp. The bird began to chirp on the tree. Chirp. Three sounds, ch, er, p, chirp. Mark the word, chirp. Shale, shale. Shale is a kind of rock. Shale, three sounds, sh, a, o, shale. Mark the word, shale. Speck. Speck. I got a speck of dust in my eye. Speck. Four sounds. S. P. E. K. Speck. Mark the word. Speck. And this completes the dictation of words from Lesson 317.